welcome guys in my youtube channel today we're going to discuss the Caril IR33 defrosting clock as requested by sir palito i uploaded the tagalog version of this one guys and one of my viewer asked for an english version and we're going to briefly discuss this because i know that the english speaking people they want an straightforward answer or discussion therefore guys as you can see, this is a clock as requested by Sir Palito, my countryman. And this is a freezer setting between negative 21 to negative 18. So it depends on your country standard temperature. Just set it. And as you can see, guys, I have here 1 to 12. So this is a 12 hours counting. If I set my D, one interval between the frost which is three hours so in 12 hours i have one two three four i have a four defrosting and for 24 hours we have an eight hour defrosting happen in our unit dp1 which is the max defrost duration is 30 set to 30 minutes so if we're going to set that one here so between 12 to 1 just mark just put in between and that is the 30 minutes if you want 20 minutes if you want 20 minutes just put it here so same all here okay so this three hours is ideal for us if the store is not busy if not busy i repeat if not busy if busy just put it to five or six okay for example, you want to pour it into 6 hours, every 6 hours your unit will defrost. So in 12 hours, you only have 2 defrosting happen for busy restaurant, okay? For the end of defrost, I set it to 8 because this is ideal. 8 degrees Celsius. So we have a 2 sensor here, the room and the evaporator sensor now i put that in my fridge so it, it sends coolness so we can deploy the manual defrost later and as you can notice guys our unit start defrosting at three o'clock and we have a 30 minutes counting the 30 minutes counting will not going to happen once the sensor the evaporator sensor sends that the Proceator is now glowing and it, once the accumulated the frost here already melted and the glowing of this heater sends this sensor here it will cut the operation of the DP1 okay it will cut so let's say 15 minutes the DP1 is by the evaporator sensor okay so i'm insisting guys do not do not do not disable the evaporator sensor for freezer setting okay for freezer do not disable for chiller okay you can disable this evaporator sensor and the disadvantage guys of disabling this one it will continue counting the 30 minutes we put here okay for the dp1 but if you have a two sensor even though you put one hour here it will not going to happen because of the presence of our sensor in the evaporator okay so we're going to put also a two minutes or four minutes for our DD parameter and this is the dripping time after the frost so we are not going to activate yet the compressor and the evaporator fan so the water dripping will go to the our drain pan and the drain pan and this there is a pipe and going to our drain pipe and usually we have a drain pan under okay so the water goes there and it has also a heater here there is also a heater i hope that is clear for now 
so the for example we put two minutes here for our dd so the 30 minutes counting if ever the, t the 30 minutes will end so we have a 32 minutes prior to the activation of our compressor and the evaporator fan so if ever at 20 minutes the dp1 the frost duration stop then 20 plus 2 is 22 so we have a 22 minutes for the defrost so we're going to actual this one guys and let's see if this is the value i put so to enter that one just press the program and set button at the same times and we have 11 for the password here there press set and let's locate for d1 d1 set okay four so it's it's up to you if you want to four here every four hours but ideally i set it to three set then for dt dt1 set ready set to eight degrees celsius then set and let's locate for dp1 which is the max defrost 20 if you want 20 here no problem but usually i put it this into 30 even 40 no problem because we have two sensor and let's look at for the dd parameter and reset as i said a while ago it's up to you if you want four minutes or two minutes for the driving time no problem then after that just press the prg to memorize all your setting i'll remove my two sensor in my fridge so we're going to deploy the manual defrosting here now i'm going to hold this so it sends my body temperature and we're going to activate the manual defrost by pressing this button here another another there take a look guys huh? the defrost happened now and what I put for my DP1 is 30 minutes and take a look the DP1 will not going to happen because I'm holding the sensor and once the sensor sends my body temperature it will cut the operation of the DP1 Okay, it's a tripping time now. Okay, the two minutes already done, and vaporator fan motor and compressor is now engaging, and I'm going to show you the my compressor is this orange here take a look my test panel light and my vaporator fan is this line so there it's engaged now the 30 minutes being aborted because this sensor sends my body temperature and it starts with the frosting so if you have a question guys just comment it down if phone call technician is not busy we're going to answer that thanks for watching God bless.